Okay, this is where it all begins again. Here at the entrance to Rainbow Lake. This time we've got a different partner, Gavin. Hi. He's uh, kindly invited me along on this trip, which is a bonus because I've never been on the island before and it's a chance to get on there and see what happens. But anyway, this is where it all starts. We'll head on in now and we'll catch up with you a bit later. <laughs> Heading on down the bumpy road. It's going to be very warm this week as well, isn't it, Gav? Yeah, forecast 40, 41 degrees. 41. Anyway, I'll tell you a bit more about that later when you might be able to hear us. We're going in, we're going in. Start another adventure. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed, eh? Well, this is certainly a place where dreams can be made. So let's see what happens. Well, here we go, Gavin. Start the trip. Now, time to get all of this over to here. There's the island swim. So we've got a fair old bit of work ahead of us and we're going to crack on with that now. Get it all set up. Looking forward to it, Gav? Oh, that's what's the smell. You what, sorry? Looking forward to it, yeah? I am certainly, yeah. Alright, well hopefully we have some fish to show some people. For now then, let's get on. Okay, it's... Uh, about six, seven o'clock on Saturday now. Been a long, long day. As you can see, everyone's having to set up, all getting their rods out. Um, yeah, pretty tiring. Must have been getting all year old for now. First time I've been on this island, but it is very, very hard work. Especially when you're only here for a week. Gavin's here for two, so. Um, not so bad but yeah everything's a bit chaotic at the moment stuff everywhere we'll gradually get sorted I've managed to get a couple of rods out Gavin's got one out just doing another one we'll plod on into the darkness if the weather's going to uh, allow us to do that with the wind because it is quite breezy at the moment but yeah everybody's just busy now doing their stuff here getting things sorted out we'll get a bit of food on the go soon but no, it's rainbow, we're enjoying ourselves. So we'll get back to you once we get a bit more set up and give you an idea where we're fishing and things like that. See what's going on. Obviously everyone, everyone's setting up at the moment pretty much on the lake. There's only a few people staying on. So it's a busy time. Sunday morning now, quiet night. But it wasn't that quiet because look, our mate come round. Look, get him. Bertie said, now stay. It's a new pet. Gab's been uh, feeding him all night. Mm. Hello, mate. Yeah. He don't mind, does he? No fear there, is there? Oh, oh, hang on. He moved then. I think he might, he could just leap at the scab. No, unbelievable. <laughs> He's having a right old feast up. Hmm. Oh, well, there you go, Gav. What do you reckon, anyway? 
What, on the kaipi or...? On the fishing side. Confident? Yeah, I'm mega confident today. It's only proper day one, really. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Still got a few of the rods to go out, haven't we? Anyway, we're up fish spotting, cup of tea. I think the guys over there might have had some action. They're out and about. So hopefully we'll get a bit of action. Always the best time of the day. This is now early, first light. See the fish start showing. And to be fair, we've actually seen quite a few fish showing. Not all in our swim, one or two. But one just came out right along the back of there. We've heard of quite a few in 21. Seen a couple over towards 19, which is over there. And we have seen a couple in front of us. So, you never know. But definitely the best time of the day this is for me. First light, get up, cup of tea, watch the water. Right, but we nearly got all the rods out now. Gav's just putting the last one out, so we'll have eight rods fishing. There he is there. He's finding himself a little spot. But yeah, we've seen a few fish this morning. Not really out in front of us much, but more down this side. Just down this way, back towards the boat launch. There's been quite a few shows. So I've put one down that way. Um, so it's just now a case of getting that last rod sorted, then we can sit back, tidy up a bit, and just wait. But no, uh, whoever's pretty good at the moment. Here's Gav letting him have a bit of bait on his other rod. Got a bucket to go on that. But we're going with the approach of a fair bit of particle this time. I'm gonna put, keep putting a lot in. So, we'll get back to you, hopefully something will happen. We're starting to warm up now on the weather front. The sun's just starting to come through. Starting to feel the temperature rise. Let's hope that the old fishes start feeding. But we've got pretty much everything sorted now, rod-wise. Gav's just still got one more to play around with. He's on over on the mainland, stocking up on supplies. Guys in 21 are starting to uh, put their rods out. They're on, Thomas is on the front of the swim. He's here for two weeks, so he don't rush around. Been putting a bit of bait in, he'll get his rods out. And we'll, if we don't catch, I'm sure he will be. There are loads of fish stacked up there in 21. That will just show you around the swim. That's looking down towards 17 and 18. As I pan round, this is all our sort of water out the front. So we've got all over there and all round here. Across the other side there is swim 11. Guys are on there. Yeah, so there's plenty of water to go at. Be nice to see a few show though. Looks like Gavin's returning. Somewhere over there. That's where we have to launch from to get over here. We park up over there, load the vans up. Here he comes. And then we have to boat all the way across three trips yesterday. It is very, very tiring. It's a lot of gear to get about. But hopefully, the rewards are worth it. Just looking across to 21. Guys on the front there. Got their flag flying. But no, let's hope we can have something. This, I want to get a fish on the camera. But until then, he's, he's just going to be probably just waiting around, putting bits of bait out, keeping our eyes peeled, finding one or two other spots to put a bit of bait on. 
in the hope that we may be able to move on to them. Sit back and relax, but it days fly by here. Absolutely fly by. It's always something to do. So anyway, everything's ready. Boats are ready. Landing nets are ready. Let's see what we can do. Here we go, all the rods are out now. We're all in play. We're just relaxing, having a cup of tea. And we Gav? All eight of them. Yeah. Yeah, we're all uh, ready. Legally fishing. Yeah, we're at four each. Although it would be nice to have another couple, but four is what we've got. So we're just relaxing now. Later on, probably I'm going to go and put a bit of bait over a few of the spots. You're going to do the same, Gav? Mm. A little bit of fresh on them? Yeah. So I just seem to think that night and early morning is our best chance, but you never know. And we'll then see if it starts occurring for us. So I'll just show you where some of the floats are. One out in the middle, just on a little plateau. One over the back, and I've also got one over the back there. So yeah, that's uh, the spots we're going with to start with. I can just see. I haven't seen anyone have anything yet. I think, well, apart from 18, I think it's definitely had fish. I think 17 might have even had one heard a buzzer going earlier. But yeah, it's early days. Uh, a bit of dinner now, Sunday. This is Sunday dinner time. Gavin, I've never seen such big pork chops. It's taller than the bowl down here now in the blue bucket. They're about an inch and a half. Jacket potato, boiled egg, salad. He's got salad going. He said he's going to do this for me every evening. Ain't you, Gav? Yeah, yeah, you know. Until I catch a big one, then I've got to cook. Salad. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. Is that balsamic vinegar? Because we're healthy eating and all that lot, as you can tell. Yep, yeah, we're always healthy eating here. The days of the pot noodle are well and truly over. Uh, bait cooking area. Yeah, so this is it now. Sunday off, late afternoon, early evening. Having a little look round. Every rod's out there. We're going to put a little bit of bait on the rods tonight, just before, well, probably just before dark. So we know there's something there overnight. And then I think I'm going to creep out early hours as well and just put a little scoop over each one and uh, see what happens. But now we're just playing a waiting game to uh, get a bite. I had a bream. Oh, yeah, Gav has had a bream. Team bream. Two bream. Team Bream. Oh, Team Bream, yeah. Everything Clayton taught me how to catch a Bream, and I've done it. Well, you've learnt from the best, Gav. Oh, Bob Nub. Yeah. You know. Clayton will be at home now doing his hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hairbrush in one hand, penis in the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go then. Come on, let's have a fish for the camera next. Right, it's Sunday night now, we're all tucked up. Um, bream, what can I say? A couple of bream today, not good. But the rods are all back out there. We've got a bit of fresh bait on them for the night. We haven't seen anything this evening showing. But we're all, uh, we're ever hopeful. Gav's tucked up watching a movie. I'm here. Raving the mozzies because I've gone total, total open. I'm hoping the mozzies don't come and get me, but last night was fine. Tonight there's plenty about, but we'll see how it goes. Might have to uh, put the front on tomorrow. But anyway, 
Hopefully me or Gav can get a fish by the morning to show you. The sky at night, a rainbow. Hosted by Gavin. Well, what's it now, Gav? About half twelve, one o'clock. Sunday night or Monday morning, it'll be now. Don't think to see ya. But we've got up for a little sneaky cup of tea, haven't we? See so if we can hear anything. Yeah. Having a Having a listen. Up. I think bed is calling. Mm. But look at that moon, that is looking nice out there now. One final look at the moon. Funny shapes tonight, they almost like an egg. It's funny, it's not the one we said the other day, we weren't sure if it was going to be a new moon or not. There you going? Yep. Yeah. This one has been the live, well, first fish of the session, and it's been completely off his tits, so it's built into it. 38 pound. 38 pound, I ain't going to get it too high. Yeah. Yeah, pal. Yeah. Pleased with that first fish. What do you reckon, Gav? Got him all in there? Yeah, man, I'm just seeing if there's a time thing on it. Is that? Yeah, mate, I just want to check that it is recording. Should be counting up. There we go, mate. 38 pound first fish of the trip. Well pleased with that. Early hours of Monday morning. Let's get her back in, eh? Yep. Well, here we are, Gavin. Monday morning. Fish spotting time. After having that fish a little while ago, so can't complain because we have had the fish. But the only problem we got is we probably think we've probably got a couple of reams sitting on a couple of the rods. No, that ain't too good. But yeah, that float has moved big time. So that's probably out of game. Gavin's got a rod that's bouncing away as well. So we sit and keep our eyes peeled. There's been a few fish show, but nothing out in front of us, is there, Gav? No, all out in front of 21's water. Yep. All in front of 21. 19 went out for a fish. I think 21 Tom's had a few bites in the night. So we just got to try and get amongst them a bit ourselves out the front here. Because I managed the bite that we did have, we sort of out this way here. Just round here. Just slipped off over there. So, that's where we got the bite. But at the moment, it's perfect fish spotting time. So hopefully they'll give themselves away, give us an idea of where we, whether we're in the right areas or not. Or better still, one of the rods will go. But what a nice place to wake up to, eh, Gav? Most definitely. Beak's been at work. Not a lot of room on this island, is it? We certainly filled it up. Oh, well, this is what's going on at the moment. Bream. It's getting absolutely plagued by them. Just got to go and let this one sort this one out. But yeah, quiet morning after that fish. Just 
just been out and sorted the rod out I had a bream on. Gav just had a bite with a bream. Very slow. Right, it's Monday afternoon now. It's been a really, really hot day. Not a cloud in the sky. Blazing away, 38 degrees, something like that. As you can see, it's still beaming in here. No more fish, quiet as you like. Just, we're now got the rods freshly baited. We we'll think we're in the window if we're going to get a bite tonight. Early afternoon, sorry, early evening. Um, through the night, early morning, maybe in with a chance. Guys in 19 have had their bites at a similar time. Tom seems to get more bites at that time in 21, so it's all to play for. At the moment, it's just a waiting game now, just letting the days burn what burn by. He's just got to gruel it out when, when the weather's like this. We should have a nice bit of food. Gav's going to chef us up something nice, so I'm looking forward to that one. But at the moment it is very, very hot and it's going to be 42 tomorrow. So again, it can be a slow, slow day. Sit and wait for the evening. It's a bit like my last session to be fair. But it is what it is. And hopefully we can have some more fish to show you a lot. And uh, they're going to be really good, but take what comes along. You can see how far the water level's down here, look. look at that, it's down, gone down a foot at least. So. That's changing the way the fish are moving around. I mean, look at the woodwork in here. I mean, you can't fish in here anyway, but, you know, what you see here, there's also some of things like that out in the main bit. So look at it, look. There's trees everywhere. Right, I've got to show you this thing here. This is a burko, or something along them lines particle burner but it's actually a tear but gas powered doing particle we've never seen anything like it put the old gas bottle on put it shove it in there it lights up so simple down the front there turn the gas on a little bit boof off it goes 20 minutes hemp will be boiling a full load of that you can turn it off and leave it and it splits lovely you can cook particles so quick in that stuff. It is an unbelievable bit of kit, isn't it? Unbelievable, Gav. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. The amount we've cooked up in, in like no time whatsoever, isn't it? Yeah. So. I mean, a great investment. I shall definitely be on the lookout for one of those. Even for taking down my local lake, because you know what? It's nothing better than fresh hemp. Freshly done. And definitely. That, I'm that, looking at air conditioning now, because it's so bloody hot. <laughs> Yeah, mate, that's what we could do with a bit of air con. Trouble is, ain't gonna deliver it in time for this trip for me. But you never know, one day we could all have it installed in the bivvies. It'll happen. But doesn't it look nice out there? But tonight, Gavin, hopefully, you can have a fish on the mat and on the video. Hopefully, yeah. Let's see what happens. I'll start the dinner in a bit, yeah? Yeah, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got to go back, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You stand here, the sound, though. The aliens are coming. I told you there was aliens here, Bill. It's fucking incredible how it can just stay still, isn't it? Well, look at this. This is our favourite time of the day. The sun is disappearing.
sun is disappearing. This is where we we're hoping for a bit of action now. Now onwards. Tom just had his drone up. <coughs> Everything's ready to go. We had a lovely dinner. Had a lovely bath. And a lovely bath as well. We had to go in and have a little bath up. We went in separate mind. Mm -hmm. No, looks for that sky over there. Oh, I think it's going to be hot one tomorrow, bro. I think you're right, mate. Well, anyway, good luck for tonight, Gav. Mm. And you, mate. Cheers, mate. Well, we hopefully we can all one out tonight between us. We need you to get one, one of your rods to go now. I'm sure it's going to. 19 just had a fish, didn't they, a little while ago? Yeah. 20 minutes ago for half hour. They think we get a bite at the same time every day. We need to just get doing the same sort of thing. Tom's quiet and Yeah, Tom seems to have gone a bit quiet now over in 21. But I'm sure it'll kick off again for him. But look at that, it's stunning out there. There's all the rods ready to go. I'm going to show you these things tomorrow. These are the Gavin's testing these out for Eric, the white tiger fishing, little prototype swingers. Well, swingers are springers, aren't they? But they're hmm. a bit more industrialised, so we'll have a little look at them tomorrow. The same as the outboard motors that we're using. Also, Eric's um, product that he supplies. I've got the 55 pound thrust and Gavin's using the one horsepower so we'll show you them tomorrow okay well it's very late on now on the Monday yeah Monday evening Gavin's just got a bite on one of his rods so he's off to go and get it let's hope he comes back with it he needs this fish so uh, hopefully he will return triumphant so anyway, get ready because it could be a fish to be seen. Oh, there you go, Gav, mind your head. Triumphant Gav returns. Well done, mate. It's a fish, isn't it? Gets you off the mark. All right, I'll come and help you grab it off you. There you go, then. Gav's first fish of the trip. Always nice to have one start off with he's going to quickly up it it's a bit mad so we ain't going to hang on the flip for long get that off scrape a 30 pounder for Gavin well done Gav nice start Do get her back, back in mate get her back yeah do you want to pull that net out yep yeah. release her Can you zoom in a bit? Little one. Little one. Off he goes. Done. Yeah? Off. How small is that, Gav? Oh, well, Gav, it weren't a bad little night. Was it a little bit of action for us? No, I can't complain, can we? So, we had uh, your one last night. which was, was on the long rob, which was a fair old slap that time of night, but... Still managed to do it, didn't you? And then that little one this morning for me, only a tiny little common, but another fish nonetheless. So hopefully we're carrying on along them lines and they just like to get bigger, we'll be happy with that, won't we? Still early enough to get another couple of bites, isn't it? It is, mate, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, we're in the window still, that is for sure. So anyway, let's have a nice cup of tea. Chill out for a little while. I missed the morning light bit. I've, I've, uh, must have been Sparko, Gav. Oh, and, I woke up. I was so tired. I couldn't make sleep. Yeah. Anyway, look. This thing coming up here. The big old fireball in the sky. 
we've probably got about an hour and then we're going to get absolutely incinerated so let's make the most of it <coughs> and have another fish to make it worthwhile oh well my uh, tuesday morning we had them couple of fish yesterday or early hours to today gav's just got another bite now and he's on his way out to see if he can get it in hopefully he gets another one off he goes same rod again all the way out the back there He's just got a little V there, lines over that, so we just hold the, just, just keep pulling it back and forth to the pole, let it go, put it in, it just stops it kiting off anywhere. And off he goes. He don't think it's very big. So just lift that off. Lift that off the V. There you go. Now he's uh I'll try and get it in. There's the net. Probably one of them little bionic commons. Go and get him in the go. Uh, stop playing ball. But it's just like part of the boat behind the pole so that holds him there. And then there you go, she's in. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Well done, Gav. And there you go, look, pan, I'll zoom back. And this is where he is in relation to the swim. That's two, two bites off that spot now for him. Just moved it onto that spot yesterday. It's paid off. There you go, he's unhooked it. if he bring, he's going to bring it back or not. There you go, he's on his way back. Rod's back out as well at the same time. Good bit of angling. Saves him going back. Looks like he might have the fish on board as well. Happy days. So we hopefully we'll get a little look at this one. That's the way you want to be fishing. Look, it's a long old way. He's gone up there, landed the fish, got his rod back in play. Here he comes. Oh, 
Hold on, mate. Here we go, again to come back with a nice little common, pretty little thing now. Bit old up. For the future. There you go, we'll come around. Well, we're going to let go that way. Yeah, we come around this way again. If you turn around, there's your sun. Sun on you. Yeah, just pull it through. Yeah. There you go. Pretty common there. Well done, Gavin. Let's let it go. Slide her off, son. Well done. Yeah. Boo, number two. Little little fishes at the moment, mate, right? but you know where, where little fishes come from? Big fishes also live. That's the way I look at it. What? Tom just going out in 21. I think he's got a bite. Probably see him come through, here he goes. Fish on. That's the uh, action hotting up a little bit for us. Nothing big yet, but at least it's a few bites now. Getting a little bit more regular. I'm sure only a matter of time, hopefully, and then one of the nicer ones will come along. Gavin's popped over to pick the bread up, so he won't be long. And then I think we've got to see the heat out again today, and then hopefully later on it'll pick up, and we might get another one or two in the night. But ever hopeful. We're still fishing, that's the main thing. So we're gonna have a nice bit of breakfast when he gets back. And then try and get nice and comfortable in the shade. It's gonna be 43 degrees today, it's gonna to be proper hot. But anyway, I'm pleased. We've had a couple now, Gab's had a couple. And it's only Tuesday, so I've got a bit of time left. Gab's got loads of time left. So let's see what happens. Here we go, Gab, we're gonna man it up now. 40 degrees and we're having a fry up. Has to be done. There she is, look. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Bit of tucker in us and then we'll have a little uh, swim later, Gab. Yeah. But it is certainly warming up out there. The guys over in 11, but they're cooking. They'll be cooking away nicely. They're probably up to about 50 degrees over there. Boys in 12 are probably still asleep. Tom over there is probably getting a good tan. Yeah, they look like they're sweltering. So it's all round roasting time. Anyway, we're going to switch to big fish tactics tonight. We're going to get one of them big ones, Gavin, aren't we? Hell yeah. That's what we, we're going to go for. We've had a couple of fish each now, a couple of small ones, so we've got off the mark. Now I'm going to spend the rest of my time getting one of them big bastards. So let's see what happens. Right, it's now Tuesday evening. We have had the hottest weather I've ever been fishing in. I've never fished in this 43, 42 degrees. We now have waited all day for this period here. And we hopefully we might get a bite. We both had a little tinker around with a couple of rods. And Gavin has knocked us up something super special. I don't know if we can get that. Might be, might be, oh, there you go. Look at that. Kebabs, chicken, vegetables, potatoes. It's just a meat feast. We're going to eat that. And after a day like today, we both deserve a fish, I tell you. If it was ever deserving. And also, just like to make note that it's a bit of a sad day in the angling world, isn't it, Gav? Oh, yes. Very sad day today, because someone that I only knew briefly, but people like Gavin and that knew for a long time, has sadly passed away. So, Alan Taylor, we hope that you're in a better place.
There's a final view of the lake. Let's see if we can bag a whacker for him. Uh, that'd be a fitting one, wouldn't it, Gav? Oh, yeah, definitely. A big one for Alan. Let's see what we can do. Well, he used to catch the big ones, didn't he? He had some big ones, didn't he? We had most of the big ones, did he, Gav? Yeah. I was here when he had the dog. He yeah. Eric fished in one and two. Eric had um, his common, Alan had the dog fish. But he'd had um, yeah, a hell of a lot of good fish. Well, I can just remember him just being on them videos, you know, before I ever knew him. Just watching them Maddox videos with Alan on there. and He used to fish late, Yately and all sorts, didn't he? Had some good fish from everywhere he's ever gone, I think. Been there right at the beginning of it all. Proper decent, decent guy. Yeah. Yep. There we go. So let's see if we can pay tribute to him or bag him one tonight. Well, still Tuesday night and all of a sudden, eating dinner. This wind's just got up. Might be a storm. Batten down the hatches time, see what happens. Right, we're going to rain in a bit, so we've got to, we've got to start clearing bits of bobs up that don't disappear off when the wind comes. So we're going to get prepared. We'll keep in touch. Here we go, early hours of Wednesday morning. Gavin's had a bite on the same rod. And uh, got himself this one. We're just going to have it up, give it away, and then uh, we'll show it to you. Well, it's got your fingers in the way there, Gav. That is 43 pounds there, 43 pounds. Well done, mate. 43 pounds common. Here he is. There he's... Come on. That's it, mate. Go and behave yourself. There he is. That's nice, mate. Yeah. That's that well. Right. Yeah, lovely. Well done on that. That's a nice looking fish, that. Well done. That's it, mate. Getting bigger. That's what matters. So it's a 43. Off it goes, look at that. Happy days, well done mate. Here we are Wednesday morning now, just after having that fish I have had. Sitting here hoping we can get a bit of a show, but so far pretty quiet. But if they're going to show, it will be any time now. It's a lot over, a bit overcast this morning, a lot cooler, but it's going to get hot again. I hope the old fish, fishing action hops up as well. What are your thoughts then, Gav? It's only 39 degrees today, you know what I mean? I might have to go and get my coat. <laughs> yeah. I hate this winter fishing. <laughs> might have to get your old parker on. Uh, yeah. But you've still got one of them. Yeah. Let's have a look across here. But they're all still tucked up in bed. Right. Yeah, can you hold the rod? I've got to come over. There's someone, cheers, bro. Right. Yeah. Cheers, me old fruit. Go, Gav's just had a bite on a slightly different rod, which is good news. And he's off to go and get it in.
Not a biggie. It's going to float. <laughs> Can't take me in the snag. Let me pass the man of fin. Get it off its fin. Oh, and the hook's just fallen out. Beautiful. Here he comes, returning to the bank. What well up, mate? Nice. Little bit of day. Oh, a bit Little daytime action. Hey. Bit of daytime action. Let's have it out. Do you know, I've got it in the net and it fell straight out. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, the hook fell straight out after, once I've got it in the net. Come on, pull me around. And then we'll get her going back. Right. See what we got. 28. 20, 25, 26 that is. 26 Kev. That'll do mate, nice daytime bite, that's what we needed isn't it? Alright Gavin's going back out, put his rod back in position. We're seeing quite a few fish now, quite short. They're not big fish though, because you see them come right out, some of them, they're quite small carp, but there's definitely a lot of activity. Hopefully, there'll be a few of the bigger ones as round as well. But yeah, it's still lovely and warm. Not as hot as yesterday, but we, we just feel like it could do a bite. First time we felt like it could do a bite in a day. So we shall see what happens now. Hopefully we'll start getting a few more shows at the back of the swim as well. 
then we know they're properly in here. A few beeps over there for 19. It's gone running down. Is it, get, is it a bite or not? No, he's heading back. It's that time of day now, everyone's out. Tom's over there. He'll put a rod out. And we can gather reduced to our pants. That's, been swimming. That's how hot it is. But that thing up there has caused carnage, I'm telling you. That has been some seriously hot fishing. 38 today, was it, Gav? Yeah. 38, and it's still beaming on us, waiting for it to disappear behind that tree. But anyway, the rods are all set again. We're open for a few fish tonight. <coughs> Ever hopeful, but tomorrow evening, this sort of time tomorrow evening, we are due a big storm, so we're sort of pinning all my hopes on that doing something, but if it's too bad a storm, it'll probably be a nightmare anyway, but you never know, might spur them on, but tonight, we're in the window, maybe a fish. Let's have a look at 11, see what they're up to. Yeah, I look chilling out. They've been, they've been in the shade since midday, they're all right. Eating their dinner. We're just about to have ours. There it is, cooking away. Yep. But no, it's been very slow. I think, to be honest, everybody in most swims are fishing about the same. Everyone sort of half a dozen bites, maybe the odd few more, but nobody's setting the world on fire. It's just one of those. They can all change any time. So I've got two more of these nights to come, and hopefully I can bag myself something reasonable. Till then, we're going to eat a bit of dinner, drink a couple of cold beers if they cool down enough in the fridge, because even the fridge is struggling. Here we go. Let's see what tonight brings. Oh no, mate, they got one. Yeah, yeah eleven have just landed a fish. Well, look at it. Both similarly dressed to us, Gav. Basically walking around in their pants. Yeah, well, that's Carlo over there in eleven. So well done, mate. There we go, anyway, we've just had a nice dinner. Cut the fish lumping about. Where did that one just roll, Gav? In the corner of 18 and 19 again. Oh, it's quite loud. But yeah, anyway, this is the scene tonight. Flat still, sun's gone, rods are spread, starting from around there. Next rod round there, there. We've got a rod over the channel, over uh, there. One right at the back. Another one right at the back. And then there's one round along that long bank. And we got three short ones over here. One over there. One slightly round. Over that way, yeah, I don't know if we can see it. A bit, a bit dark, but yeah, they're pretty well spread. There it is. Sitting back, waiting for our turn, Gav. Yeah, man. Keep <coughs> laughing. I'm running out of days, but you've still got plenty of time. So, let's see what we can do between now and Saturday, and then we'll keep in touch with you, Gav, and find out how you get on with the rest of your time. Now we're going to have a nice beer and a chill out. Well, it's Wednesday night now. Uh, sun went down, a bit of tucker. Uh, just getting into bed. Gav's had a couple of beeps on his rod and he's into one. So he's off out to get it. Let's hope this could be the good one. We should wait and see. He's 
coming back. That light in the distance is Gav. He's got it in. I don't think it's very big. We'll wait for him to get in. Have a look. Well done, Gav. Yeah. Well, well done, mate. Is it another? Is it another small one? Yeah. Alright, whatever. Little look, then. Well done. You reckon? <coughs> she is thirty. Thirty-one. Mm. Thirty-one, Gav. I'm just going to put that straight back. Up and off the rim. Yeah, mate. Get it straight back in. Get it over the top of you. Right, Bill? Yeah, mate. There she goes. There you go, well done. Pulling back now. He's in. It's not big, but it's a fish. Well done. Needed that. There's Bill coming in, just had a bite. On his long rod. He said it's not that big, it's only a small one, but it's a fish.
Big Fish Thursday. And it's massive for a minnow. Big Fish Thursday, I'll call it. I moved it yesterday. And then boom. This morning. It was mega hot last night. It was like 20, 28 degrees, 29 degrees last night. Getting ready for the big storm, Gav. Yeah, got a big storm coming up tonight. Which is what we're looking forward to. So we're going to make sure all the rods are in situ. It's quite nice last night. We had a massive breeze coming. But it was bloody baking out. It was awful last night. We had a fish at one o'clock, thirty-one pound, and then we were sitting there sweating our nads off. Right, I'll give Bill a hand with this. He's Bill with his fish. Not the biggest, but not certainly the not the biggest, but the liveliest. Fucking certainly the prettiest as well. well. This side here is lovely. Look at that. That's one for the future. It's amazing how the strain has changed. We're getting fish like this come through. That's absolute peach. Imagine that, 70 pound. Yeah, mate, lovely. Lovely, it's probably 20 pound. We're gonna a quick way. Well, Thursday morning now. Just had that fish. Got the rod back on the spot. All we're all back in play again. Sit it out for the rest of the day. If we're lucky, we might get another bite during the day. We did manage one yesterday during the day. Uh, pleased to get the bite on the rod at the back there. That's the first bite on that one. Gav had a bite on one, a new spot last night in the night, that one Gavin had. So he was pleased with that. Now we just wanted to try and get a bit of a better stamp of fish. But it's going to be easier said than done. It's just a waiting game, isn't it, Gav? Yeah. Just going to sit it out. I mean, it's not as though the whole lake's been fishing absolutely great. You know, there's been a lot of small fish coming out. Yeah. I think the biggest fish is about 56 pounds, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think um, 19 out of 56, something like that. 18 out of 50, ain't they? Yeah, Kevin McGuinness had a 56 yeah. coming right at the start. Yeah, I'm not but, sure. Uh, on I don't off. think there's been any other 50s out, is there? Um, uh, there that. might have been 50 out in six. But we're not too sure because we've not, we're not really spoken to them, but... Uh, you only hear rumours, you never know. We'll find the scores on the doors a bit later. But until then, we're going to... Well, I was going to have a siesta, but the sun's now on me, BV. Uh, but, yeah, a bit of brekkie will be in order in a little while, a bit of washing up first. And then we're going to move a bit of gear out of the way today, have a bit of a tidy up, because tonight there's supposed to be a bit of a rain, a bit of a storm coming, so... Hopefully the camera's out before then with a bit more fish, but maybe the next outing will be the storm. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm happy so far. All good. You can't always choose the size of fish, so it's uh, a case of taking what comes along. Thursday lunchtime, or late morning. A little bit of cloud coming over. Cool, that is hot today. Another well in the 30s. Still. No fish rolling though. But we are just sitting it out again. Hello mate, can you hear me? Yeah, same as. There we go. <laughs> Uh, lying in the lake, like fucking those days. 21. Oh, it looks like a bit of cloud coming over. Everyone's just sitting around, pottering about. Just waiting and waiting and waiting. There's got to be a good fish in it, surely. Someone's got to have a good one. Dangerous days. Dangerous days on the radio. Two things. But we'll keep going. Oh, Dave, just shout to the missus. Little cheeky little big thirsty bite for Gav. Only a small one. 
Oh, aren't they all though, Gav? I don't think there's any biggies in here, is there? Yeah, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Oh, oh, fell over there. Oh well. Good bite. Where's it going? Over there. You say that, it'd be a monster. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Yeah, you got to, mate. You got to go and hold your rod, you go for it. Phil, hold my rod. I'll hold your rod for you. Cheers, darling. Hey, I look filming and playing a fish at the same time. You never know, Gav, how big that is. Uh, you want some glasses, Gav? Maybe the old wind. Spurring them on, a little bit of cloud cover, bobbing about. He'll float dancing across the water. It'll go under that other line, Gav. You got your other line in front here. Comes the net. And could be going in a second. Yeah, he's got it. Well done. Well done, Gav. It is windy, mate. First bite we've had this time of day. Right, Gavin's just had this one, as you just saw. He's a nice mirror, 31 pound. Still not the big ones, but you know what, we're happy with that. Oh, this one's on speed, crack or something. Yeah, it's gonna go mad, but we'll just get, hold it up and then I'll get one putting him back, Gav. That's all good, man. Like it. Well done. Got to be happy with that little afternoon bite. Yeah, man. It's the first one we've had in the afternoon, isn't it? It is, mate. Yeah, so it could be a little change. It's got I mean, handy that spot, really. You know, that's two in the last 
24 hours, hasn't it? It's been out there all week, hasn't it? Well, it's come good for you, that spot. We persevered on that, and it's, yeah. it's paid off at the moment. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick a bigger one up off it. Well, they're out there, and you bet your life they ain't too far away. So, so that'll be back on the spot in about another 10 minutes, and then we'll sit back and see what happens. But we're happy now. We've had, out of all the rods, what we had, one, two, three, four, five, five different rods go? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Yeah, out of the eight, we've had five working. So let's get the other ones going, and that's happy days. And, you, you always go home happy once when you had a bite on every rod, didn't you? Yeah, man. So anyway, well done. Thank you very much. And that uh, I won't be long before the next one's on this way. There's Carlo over in Swimming Lemon. I've been having a steady little trip. Oh, what he's doing there. It's waving, I think. Waving. Funny wave. There you go. And here comes Gavin after just getting the rod back on the spot. Ready for action. Fair old wind now, nice wind. It's not cold though, it's warm as hell. And there we go. Back in play. Come on Gavin, let's catch some big ones. And when I say big, that'll make 50 pounds, that's big for me. Well, Gavin, what have you found in the lake? Someone's rigging it. Yeah, it's uh, either Thomas Sifka's rig or mine. Thomas Sifka or Michael's rig, this. Yeah. Found the end of it, but I don't know how. I know what Thomas likes to fish with long ones when we fished here before, but I can only get to that far. Was he spliced the end of it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that slide now. Gotta be one of one of them one of theirs, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think it's got Thomas's name all over it to be fair. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, if we could get it out, you could give it back to him, but he's snagged on something, isn't it? Well that's the end of it. I know, you know, sometimes, you know, it would take a week to register to get that he was having a bite because the rigs are so long, you know. Yeah. Well, Clayton had a word with him about his rigs being so long. Yeah. Well, at least we know where that end is, you know. It might, yeah. It might end up, you know, you know, the hook thing might be in 19, the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's now Thursday evening. We had no more action today, so far. But there was a storm brewing in the sky, flashes of lightning, rumbles of thunder in the distance. So I reckon we could be in for a bit of a show. We shall see what happens. But if it starts, I'll get the camera out and have a little show of what's going on. But you could switch them all on. All the rods are in place. We've covered most of the gullies coming through now. And there is a quite a few of them. Still fishing a couple long, one behind. The rest are in these gullies, starting literally from the nearest gully. Not this one there. But that next one over, we've got rods in pretty much all of them now. It's all spread around the swim, so we shall see what happens. But if it starts thunder and lightning, I'll get the camera out. In the meantime, Gavin is chefing. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Kebabs, spicy pork chops, potato, jacket potato. So let's hope it spurs it all on. What, we, what we're what we after, I don't mind if it's me or Gavin, one good fish just to get on this video for everyone to have a little look at. Of course I'd be over the moon if it was me. Especially so, even if it's Gavin, mate. We're here as a team, fish as a team, we take what comes along. But it's been thoroughly enjoyable so far. I haven't got long left now. Gavin's got the extra week. Hopefully it will really kick in for him. But you can't choose when you come here. 
you got to take what's on offer and it's potluck with weather and everything. So I think I've got sort of 36 hours of maybe good fishing and we'll see. Well, it's definitely building the storm. There you go. Right above swim 12 and 11. Wind's increasing. Gav said I would share with him tonight if I get frightened. And we're cooking dinner out fresco. Yeah, we're outside barbecuing in the storm. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's just eating now. Heard the wind there just all of a sudden increase. Oh, it's a coming. Yeah, well, <coughs> let's have a little look what happens. Would our line survive it? That's what we got to ask ourselves, otherwise, we ain't fishing at all. Well, tucked up in the bivvy now. Storm's uh, banging away outside. It's not really hit us full on. Thunder and lightning all round us. But it's not actually bang on us in a minute. We might get away with it. It's windy though. Stuff been blowing about all over the place. Been running around pegging everything down. Hear a bit of a rumble going on there. Let's have a little look outside. Have a quick look. Flip the screen around. We didn't see any of that. There's plenty of flashing going on. One. No rain at the moment, we had a couple of spots. The sky is well alight. You can sort of hear the thunder a bit. Yeah, that was a big one. One of his buzzers going. Put it away and get it out again a bit. Well, it's about four o'clock in the morning now, Friday, after the storm died down, and I've just had a fish. Or well, ten to three, actually, it is. Um, I got it in a net, so I'll get it out and have a little look at it. But the storm never really came in properly for us, it was in the distance, but still, it cooled us all down. Anyway, we'll have a quick look at the one in we got. Here's the one in the net. I think you can see it. I've got to sort him out, he's stuck in there. Get him out. Anyway, pleased with that. That was on a spot out in open water, so it's on the different rod. So we ain't short now of many rods going before we've had the full rods gone off. Uh, let's get it out, Gav. Shall we get it out and have a little look? Yeah, man. We're better looking fish. Go then, Gav. Lift him up with video, I'm in my way, yeah? 
Ready? Got yep. him? Yep, spot on, mate. Yeah? Yeah, that'll do. Cushy. There we go, give him a wave, get him back in. Yep. Well pleased with that. Scores are beyond. Thirty-one pound. Thirty-one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's how I'll get him back in. Come over. Come over here. Yeah. Let's go on down now. Let him go. Really. Here we go. It's Thirty-one pound. Going back. Here we go. Thirty-one. Right, well, early morning now. Friday. Gav just had a bite. So he's out playing that, just off the front of the swim. Oh. Saying it looks small again. I mean, look, the bank's here, Gab's here, not far out at all. He's got it. Hold on. She gone? No, no. Oh, let me get round here. Go on in. There you go, Gavs. Little small common. Off it goes, there you go. That's been number 11, Gav. Friday morning now, and look at the difference in that weather. Gavin just had that fish, and I just lost the fish on my long rod. So we're up to 12 fish so far, and lost one. Just to be honest, not bad ratio, but they're just all small, aren't they, Gav? Yeah. One forty, three or four thirties, and the rest have been pasties. Yeah. I mean, that one I put back this morning, I reckon that was only 14, 15 pounds. Yeah, I mean, you know, still can't complain, we're catching fish, but yeah, we, we know there's a hell of a lot of good fish in this lake. And, you know, it would be nice just to try and get hold of one of them. Two would be great, one for me and one for Gav, but... Or even nine each, you know, we're not 
We're not greedy. No, nah, we're not greedy, but... There's one just rolled out, corner of 19. I've been there every week, haven't I? Yeah, every day. But we got, I've got 24 hours left. Gav will be halfway through after that, and he's got another week to go with good weather, so... Hopefully, I'll get a few reports back and he's had some nice fish. And his mate Finch is coming out to join him. Hopefully, he does well. But something's going on on one of Gav's rods. What was that, Gav? That one there, a little knock. It's the one, one of the ones I've got to check today. Alright, uh, keep your eye on that. Anyway, we shall uh, get the camera out again, hopefully, when we get the next fish. Till then, this is the scene Friday morning. What a difference. Actually got a little bit of a chill in here. Yeah. It's probably because I'm damp. But 11's catching a few fish as well. 19 are, so they're all around. Let's see what happens. Well, if you believe it, it's only about a half hour later. Listen to that. There's some serious rain. Uh, and a bit of thunder to go with it. So hopefully Gavin gets a bite. So I won't be filming it. Oh no. Anyway, hopefully it's stir them up a bit. It's absolutely pouring in here. So, see how long this lasts. Rod's well, just pinged off. And it's just about to net it. It came right under one, two, three lines. Giving him some. It stopped raining once when he had the bite. Yeah, got it. Nice one, first, um, well, second, second bite off that spot. Not sure how big it is. We're just having eating small fish at the moment, I don't know. Hopefully, um, we'll start getting into a few bigger ones. How big? Got on there. Yeah, you're all right. Just come round the back of that stump there and then come straight in. How big, Bill? Oh, high 30, might be a 40. So, yeah, I just said, yeah, it went under three, lo three rods. It would account for itself, wouldn't it? 
Oh, well, after he dies. I'm waiting to put my rod out. Oh. It's been constantly raining. You what, mate? Common or mirror? Nice common, boom, happy days. Right, put the camera down. There's Bill's prize, nice common, 39 and a half, isn't it Bill? 39 and a half pound common. Beautiful looking fish. Back for a little bit. Well, he might do one, if he does, he does. Oh, look, that dorsal's up. Try and hold him up quickly. There we go. Man, I'm pucker, absolutely stunner. Yeah, man. Nice fish, mate. Happy days. Off he goes. Get you go. Out, let you go, yeah? Yeah, man. What way is he going to go? So I reckon. Well, it's still Friday, about lunchtime Friday. The weather's just absolutely ideal now for us. Uh, just had that one that you just saw. Nice common, the biggest one so far. I'm well pleased with that, you know, scrape a 40 pound, you know, just under 40, so 39 and a half to be precise. So I'm very happy with that. And I still feel there's time to maybe nick one or two more fish before my time is out. Got less than 24 hours now. Rest of, rest of this afternoon, I've got to be away by 8 o'clock in the morning. So I'm trying to get as much packed away as possible, leave the rods out. I'm really, I really, really think there could be at least two or three more bites in it. So I shall endeavour to keep drying and Gavin as well. Gavin's got a couple of spots going now. I've got a spot going, well, two spots that seem to be doing regular bites. Uh, it's all all to play for now. Last knockings of the video, last knockings of everything. Weather's cock on. Waited all the time. Hottest, hottest weather I've ever fished in. We've sat here for day after day, well in the 30s. One day in the 40s. All literally waiting for this moment, this low pressure to come in, and give us a couple of good days of fishing. So we've got to capitalise on it. Gavin's got another week. I think him and his mate are going to do really well in here. For me, this is it. So, come on, fingers crossed, everyone, for me. Let's see if we can get that big and out. Well, Friday afternoon. A bit quiet at the moment. Not really seeing anything rolling around or boshing. Um, very still, very hot still. Even with the cloud, it's still very warm. But we're sitting it out now. Had a nice bit of lunch. New guys are arriving. Uh, running out of time fast now. I still feel there's probably three fish in it for me between me and Gav. So hopefully not the end. Be one or two more to show you. Looks very good out there though. Let's have a little zoom to the back of the swim. Let me show you what it looks like. It's like looking at the furthest parts of the swim now. If I pan round, a little gap there that goes through. That goes all the way through to swim 16 at the back of the swim, it's like a channel that goes through. 
just done about two or three fish there. And then in this little spot, there's a come round in there. Oh, that's done a couple of fish there. So that's the furthest parts of the swim. Probably. 250 yards I suppose maybe a little bit more and then you've got areas here that root, run through to swim 11 little channels, lots of them that run all the way through and as we look down this way going towards swim 18 and cutting through 19's water to 18 as you might be able to see uh, I think it could be yeah just behind that island swim 18 but yeah it's a good swim first time I've ever fished on this I'm loving it I really like this swim Lots of uh, features to go at. Let's see what happens in the last few hours. Well, this is it now. Um, Saturday morning, it's half six in the morning, I've got to start putting all my rods in. Very, very quiet night, nothing happened at all, very unusual. Pouring with rain, I've got to pack up and go, so this looks like it could be the end. Um, maybe a fish in the next half hour, but very, very quiet. So, anyway, I've really enjoyed myself, had a great time, Gavin's carrying on. Hopefully he catches a few more next week and I can uh, get a bit of video from him and a few pictures and put these on the video as well. But hey, this could be it now. Time to pack away. Well that was the end for me, but not for Gav who was joined by Rob. Although they had a slow start to the week, by the end of it they had managed to get into some good fish. So well done to them guys. You right, mate? Well done, mate. Spot on. Have to go try and smile if you can. <laughs> lovely, mate. Is that Perfect. Right? Yeah, it's lovely, mate. I'll just... Just gab with a 47 pound common. Five o'clock in the morning. Biggest fish of the trip. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's Gavin, four o'clock in the morning, same rod, same result. We just get a little video of it. Right, Gavs. Yeah. 10 to 1 in the morning, well done mate, I'm videoing you bud. Nice one mate. Approximately 44 pounds we're thinking, aren't we? Yeah. Nice one mate, well done bud. Cheers, Happy days. Nice. Well, mate. Well, well, well. That's it, here we go. Yeah. Friday morning. Finchie's uh, first carp, our big rub. Uh, 52 and a half. Well 
just rattled off this morning. Finally, mate. I don't think I've ever worked so hard for a carp <laughs> and this one, moving rods, changing everything just to try and lick a bite. We saw a lot of fish showing down towards the boat launch that Rob uh, placed them yesterday and uh, rattled off this morning. Oh, mate, thank you so much. Fucking hell, I've never worked so hard for a carp in my life. I can't say <laughs> this head. Wow. Nice one, Gav. Again, much appreciated, mate, for all your help. Oh. No worries, mate. That little vid of it going back. Quite funny if you'd seen the run, Rob would fucking pick this rod up and jump straight in the lake because of the boat, because of the bar. I weren't losing it no matter what. <laughs> I was going in, I'll swim after it if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday morning. <laughs> the biggest trip off the island in two weeks. Bolt out and splash like fuck. Can't believe the water temperature still. Yeah, it's still breaking it's on. Like a bath. It? Yeah. After he landed that fish, he only went on to catch one a shade under 60 pounds. So well done, Rob, and a great week, even though you had to wait.